Welcome to the bucket list where I look at games I have some care for, or in this case, a game that's a sequel to a game I care for. Today we're covering Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, or Super Mario Bros. 2 in Japan, releasing on the Famicom Disk System in 1986. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, this game fucking stinks. Basically, it's the same plot as the last game, with sprites that barely change. And the stuff they do add is complete bullshit. That poison mushroom can be a bitch if you don't know, but it's kind of obvious. So this game is supposed to be a much more difficult version of the last game with some added quirks to really spice things up. What did they add? Gas. Yeah, this is a game that didn't leave Japan until Super Mario All-Stars was released on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System because Nintendo deemed it too difficult for the American audience. This is where they put the first Super Mushroom in the game. Since Nintendo deemed it too difficult, we got stuck with a new version of Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario USA in Japan. That'll be covered next, maybe, but for right now, let's talk about this garbage bag I found across the street. I will say this though, the game doesn't look as bad as I remembered it being. I always hated how this game looks and I still do, but not as much as I used to. When I was younger, I loved playing the original Super Mario Bros, however I could, and it was one of the earliest games I've ever played. In fact, I went to an arcade and they had this specific arcade there. It was so cool. Unfortunately, I don't remember what the arcade looked like, so that's unfortunate. I remember seeing a video of the Lost Levels and I saw what it looked like. It looked like in English is hard. I was actually very happy I couldn't play it. Then I got a Nintendo Switch. God damn it, I first played this game on Nintendo Switch Online and it was as bad as I thought it would be. Here's something to scare you a bit. If you want to play worlds A through D, you have to beat the game eight fucking times. I already pissed myself. I'm never doing that, but there are eight worlds like last time, and I have, I have a scary thought. What if, and hear me out for a second, we made the warp zones send me backwards? So fucking brilliant! It, it, that's actually what happens, and it's kind of funny. He says with a smile on his face. But overall, the game isn't very good. Challenging, yes, but just because the game is challenging, it doesn't mean that a game would be good, and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels is exactly that. There are games that are challenging that are good because the game makes you feel rewarded for beating or something similar. Games like Cuphead and Hollow Knight execute this really easily and it feels really good to beat bosses in those games, but for this, it's just hard and not very fun to go back to. I know I'm comparing modern indie games to an NES game, but I need to show examples here for that. I really have nothing else to talk about for this game. It isn't very good, level design is very difficult, and bullshit, there isn't anything to comment on like the music or the power of really anything because it's pretty much the same as the last game. With that being said, thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. I'm gonna take a look at Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario USA in Japan uh, next week. Until then, I'm DEG and this is the bucket list.